Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We have to welcome Reverend J. Timothy Roberts and Pastor Matthew Thorne, uh, the former being the executive director of Walking in Wholeness in Barbados and the latter being the director of Walking in Wholeness in Barbados. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to have you with yeah, us. Great place for me to start. What is Walking in Wholeness in Barbados? Well, Walking in Wholeness Barbados is an amazing um, opportunity for people to come into an integrated health in spirit, soul, and body. Um, I think the fastest way to get a handle on this is when King Solomon was writing the Proverbs in the Bible, he said something very significant. He said that in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13, that the sorrowful heart breaks the spirit. And then in chapter 17, verse 22, he says that the broken spirit dries up the bones. Well, there you've got soul, spirit, and body all affecting each other. Now in our bones, we have our blood and our immune system that's created in the marrow. And when we have uh, dried up bones, we'd have compromised blood and immune system. We get allergies, we get sick easier. And then we go to the doctor and he examines us in the way that he's been trained, bless God. But um, whoever goes back and asks you, who broke your heart? Because that's what it's, where it all started. And that's what we do in this ministry. And we have seen, as we treat the whole person holistically, if you will, in the light of our creator's principles, backed by medical science, that um, we've seen even autoimmune diseases turned around. Praise God. Pastor Thorne, uh, talk to us a little bit more about that, because you say you're not necessarily a, a, a church per se, but you're a part of a, a, a group of churches who encourage, teach, and transform lives according to the Word of God. So how are you able to reach people, first of all, and share your ministry, and of course, engage or interact with them? Awesome. Thank you. Good morning again. Uh, such a pleasure being here to share with you and, and all of beautiful Barbados this morning. So yeah, as Pastor Tim was sharing, we are a healing, deliverance, teaching ministry. And um, yes, so we do lend support to local churches here. We're not an actual church. We are made up of members from different churches across Barbados with the Spirit of God working within us. So we uh, have members from different churches we're covered by restoration ministries here, uh, led by Apostle Jordan um, in Gansai Road in St. Michael. So our aim essentially is to um, be the hope that Barbadians desperately need at this point in time. And that comes through our interaction, networking with pastors, networking with schools and other Christian and non-Christian organizations. Uh, helping people to become the best version of themselves. And if we look at what the word says, the best version of ourselves is found in the image that God has for us to be in the earth. You know, we live in a time where there is no purpose. You know, there is no plan. There is no God. But every person always has that deep sense of longing or fulfillment where there's there's a need and there's something that they're, they're going after. And that's, that's how God has created us. To, to serve, to worship Him. And I think love, hope, and faith as basic tenets are the key principles that He wants us to operate by. So we come alongside ministries, um, primarily churches, and we help their members, their leadership, to become all that they can be in Christ. Well, you know, that's really great to hear because, Reverend Roberts, a lot of the times uh, we see various groups so divided along denomination that they don't recognize the commonalities that we all share. 
So uh, talk to me more about how you are connecting. I know you've been around since 2012, but you obviously are making moves because here you are here with me on television. So talk to me more about, you know, those strategic moves you're making to get out there more and connect more with the people of Barbados. Thank you for the question. That's excellent. Um, obviously, we're here on Good Morning Barbados, and I love it. And uh, we are uh, seeking to um, cooperate with the schools to help children uh, work through their issues, to learn some basic, amazing principles uh, that are relational and that allow the children uh, many of whom don't come from uh, homes that are not um, as stable as they'd love to see. Uh, some are very dysfunctional, some are fatherless. And uh, just for us to be able to go in and plant hope and teach what is forgiveness, uh, relational things, what are some of the strongholds uh, that we all tend to grow up with certain fears feeling rejected, anger, because stuff is happening to us outside our control. How do we handle all of that? So working with the schools, we've offered our services to businesses, employers. We'd love to be able to work with employers, employees, and help the employees and employers have an amazing relationship, working relationship, and therefore production and when we put into practice, really, God's kingdom principles, um, there's blessing that comes with that. And that's what we love to do is just bless people. So really, wherever it is, whether it's government, we've um, you know tried to connect with government officials even and, and just come alongside of them and support them, or whether it's spiritual leaders, or whether it's... Uh, the person the, meet somebody on the street and they have a need, well, we'll pray for them, we'll come alongside of them, we'll minister to them. And uh, just something as simple as um, teaching how powerful forgiveness is and what is true forgiveness so that we have seen arthritis healed, we've seen all kinds of things happen. Even the medical community has done experiments and understands now that people heal faster when they forgive. Uh, just a lot of exciting things where we can offer this. We've had PSWs, doctors, nurses come through our ministry and they get excited because they see another aspect which perhaps was not included in their preparation in school, but is very real and can really help them in their practice in helping people. I want to repeat something you just said uh, that resonates with me. People heal faster when they forgive. Yes, let's ponder on that for a moment. How do we connect with you, Pastor Thorne? I know you said you're in various churches and you're working through the church leaders, but we had Reverend Roberts talking about connecting with employers, employees, with schools and students. So how do we make this connection? Yeah, yeah. and um, I just want to add just real quick uh, to what um, Reverend Roberts was, sh was showing. But even most recently with um, our students and some of the challenges we were having governmentally with the schools, that's also area that we had an opportunity because God always places opportunities for us to plug in, for us to have impact, measurable impact in young people's lives as, as that's a big part of, um, of what we um, like to do, right? And uh, recently over the past couple of weeks, just based on the challenges as, as we would be aware. That was a great opportunity where persons were able to reach out to us for advice, for counseling, and we were able to lend our services to uh, schools across Barbados and try to reorient the young minds um, uh, most, most recently, past couple of weeks. But yes, in terms of contact, uh, they can get in touch. You can get in touch with us at 231-4223. And you can also get in that would be a direct contact from myself, 
happy to connect with you. You can also get in touch with Nola Voice. She is one of the directors here in Barbados, and her contact number would be 263-5285. 263-5285. We would love to be in touch. We would love to share more about our ministry. And uh, as I said, you know, help people be the best version of themselves. I think that's something that people don't know they can be because there's so much spiritual bankruptcy. There's so much hopelessness, especially coming out of COVID, where people just need help. They just need somewhere to reach out to, someone to connect with. And that's where we come in as a restoration of hope, a restoration of uh, the, the, the hope of glory, as, as First um, uh, Colossians talks about. Uh, so that's who we are. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing with us. We all need a little bit of spiritual healing at some point in time. And uh, I think this is a great place to, uh, to kind of bring the program to today with all that's happening all across the world and most definitely here in Barbados. So thank you, Pastor Matthew Thorne and Reverend Timothy Roberts of Walking in Wholeness to Barbados for coming in and sharing with us this morning. It's our honor and thank you so much. An absolute pleasure. Just want to declare blessings over the entire Barbados prosperity and uh, simply whatever you set out to do today, declare and decree that you will succeed at it and everything that you have in store for you, you would receive in Jesus' name. We bless you and we love you. Thank you so much. We receive that. Thank you. Morning, morning, morning.